Hi guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the packet tracer activity 4.6.5, which is going to show you how to connect a wired and wireless LAN. Here we are going to uh, go demonstrate the different types of connectors or the different types of cables so that you get used with the concepts that we discussed in the module four physical layer of the ITN course. So let's get into the packet tracer activity. So I have downloaded the activity and this is how it looks like. If you see, once again, you get you got all the objectives. It says you got to connect to the cloud. You got to connect the router zero. You got connect the remaining devices, verify connections and examine the physical topology. So let's do that. And if you check out the actual packet tracer, you can see there are different uh, devices that are placed over here. And your duty is to connect these devices with one another so that you can create a network. And there, you can see this is a wireless router. These are two normal routers. There is a cable modem and there are two PCs, one server and a printer. These are connected wirelessly. So let's see what the instructions are and let's go on step by step. Now instructions, let's start with part one, connect to the cloud. So at the bottom left, click the orange uh, lightning icon to open the available connections and then choose the correct cable to connect router zero, F zero by zero to cloud ethernet six port. So we need to connect a cable from F zero by zero port of router zero, this one to the cloud ethernet six port. So I click on the connections. You can see there are lots of connections written over here. And also I discussed in the physical layer module that you can see the black colored one is called as the copper straight through cable and the black one with the dashes is called as crossover cable. So for me, usually I go with the straight through cable and my instructions read connect the routers zero F zero by zero to cloud Ethernet six by six. So let me click on the router. See, there is the fast Ethernet port zero by zero. Click on that, go to the cloud, click on it. See, there is only one Ethernet port to which you can connect this cable to. There are no Ethernet ports. Only you can see there are all different serial ports there. There are some uh, modem ports and there is a coaxial port. So please select carefully, check out what type of uh, ports are available. Now, because this is an Ethernet cable, I can only connect to the Ethernet 6. Once you connect them correctly, if you see only then you get the green lights on here. The green means you did the right cable or you selected the right cable and you connect them properly with the appropriate ports. If you do not, uh, if you did not select the correct cable or if you connected them to the wrong port, red colored box will see, not red colored, uh, a color will come there so that it will tell you that you have, connect, you have done some kind of error while connecting the devices. Now, if you see, this is what it is written over there. So use a copper straight through connection. I did that. So my completion goes to 12% now. And in the step two, it is asking, connect the cloud to cable modem. Choose the correct cable to connect the cloud coax seven to modem port zero. Now, if you go here, there is a cloud here and this is the modem here. And coax 7 means you need the coaxial cable. If you don't know what coaxial cable is, just move your cursor to on these things, which will tell you this is an optical cable, this is an IoT custom cable, this is an USB cable, this is a serial DTE interface, and there is the blue colored one is the coaxial cable. So click on the coaxial cable, click on the cloud. If you see, there is a written here called as coaxial 7, and you can see the difference here on the port also. So click on coaxial 7, connect to the cable modem. Once again, you have two ports in the modem. One is the Ethernet port, you should not connect to this and you should connect to the port zero because you can see there is a coaxial connector here. This is, this is a coaxial port, so connect to that. Once again, it blinks green. So that means you did the right connections. So if you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn green. That's it, we got the link lights and let's go to the part two. Once again, the my completion shows 25%. So in part two, it says connect router zero. This is the router zero here. Connect router zero to router one. And it is asking, choose the correct cable to connect router 0, serial S0 by 0 by 0 to router 1 S0 by 0. That means now we have to connect a serial cable because you have to select the serial cable simply because now we are connecting serial ports. Use one of the serial cables. There are two serial cables over here. One of them is the serial DCE and one of them is the serial DTE. Select the serial DTE cable, click on the router. You can see there are two ports over here, serial 0 by 0 by 0. Because it specifically has given in the instructions that connect serial 0 by 0 0 port of router 0, click on this and go to the router. And once again, you see there is a serial 0 by 0 port. Because it is clearly mentioned in these instructions that you need to connect 
S0 by 0 port of rotor 0 and S0 by 0 port of rotor 1, you have to do the correction. You have to do the connections properly. Once again, it shows green there. That means your cables and your ports are the right ones. Next, let's go to the step 2. Connect router 0 to netacad.pka. It is the server over here. You can see this is, a, this is a symbol which denotes the server. It is asking, connect the router 0 to server A. Choose the correct cable. Routers and computers traditionally use the same wires to transmit 1 and 2 and receive 3 and 6. The correct cable to choose consists of these cross rule wires. Although many NICs can now auto sense, as I said in the, uh, we discussed in the module 4, there is an auto MDIX feature, which to auto sense which pair is used to transmit and receive. Here he is mentioning that router 0 and netacad.pka do not have auto sensing NICs. If they do not have auto sensing NICs, you cannot connect the straight through cable. So if I try to do that, if I try to do the take the series, the straight through cable over here and connect it to the router, there is go, there is there is a port called as F uh, faster than it, 0 by 1. Click on it and then you connect to the NetAcad PK faster than it. See, because we don't have that auto MDX feature in both of these ports, it is showing me as red simply because it's not going to accept it. It doesn't know what to sense. So in case if you uh, did not connect the ports correctly, once you see the red color, please click on the delete button on your, on your uh, keypad. Your cursor will change into a cross symbol and go here, just click on this link, it will remove and then press escape. Do you understand? So if you did the connections uh, not in the right manner or in the wrong manner, what you need to do is click the delete button. Automatically your cursor button changes to this symbol and click on whatever cable that you connected uh, earlier, which you want to change, simply click on that and that will be removed. And in order to get away from this delete menu, you simply press an escape, your cursor will get back. Now to do this connection, I am going to select the crossover cable now because there is no auto MDX feature, there is no auto sensing feature. I go for the crossover cable, click on the router, connect to the fast ethernet, click on the server netacad.pka, click on the fast ethernet. Now once again, you see the green, the link lights turn green which indicates your connection is working and it's the right connection. Go now it says step three, connect router zero to the configuration terminal. It is saying, choose the correct cable to connect router zero console to configuration terminal RS-232. This we have been doing since the my first video about packet tracers. For any configuration, we have this console cable, the blue colored one over here, and you click on the configuration terminal, it always goes into the RS-232 port on the configuration terminal. And once you click on the router, it shows there are only three ports. One of them is auxiliary, one of them is console, and the other one is serial port. The auxiliary port does not accept a console connection, only you have to connect to the console port. So you click on the console cable, go to the configuration terminal, you do you select the RS-232 port and then go on to the router, click on it and on the router you have to select the console connection. Once again, rather than turning green here, the console connection link lights turn black. That means it works. Okay, now let me check it out here. If you attach the correct cable, the link lights on the cable turn black. So that's it, kudos done and we have completed 62% of this activity. Now we have come to the part three. It's very easy as long as you know what connections you are making what ports you are selecting. If you get uh, if you get user with these connectors and the different types of cables that are being used, it's very easy. It's easy peasy, it's, it's a cakewalk. Now let's go to the part three. It says connecting, connect the remaining devices. In step one, it's a, it is asking me to connect router one to switch. So this is the router one, this is the switch. It is asking choose the correct cable to connect router one, F1 by zero to switch F0 by one. Automatically you can so go for the straight through cable because it's a fast ethernet port. In the router, you have faster than that 0 by 0. What did it ask? Once again, let me check. It says router F1 by 0. Please make sure that you do the right connections with the right ports. F1 by 0, switch F0 by 1. So in this F1 by 0, you can see. But if I, if you see here, it is clearly asked me, you have to connect F1 by 0. But when I connect, when I have taken the straight through cable as it is a common norm and I click on it, it says get lost. The cable cannot be connected to that port. The reason behind this is, because if you click on the router port, wait a minute, give me a second. If you click on the router port, now if I once again I'll do the same thing. If you click on the router port and you can go to the faster than one by zero, you see two ports there, or you see a pair of links, and you, you that it that it means that you need to connect a fiber optic cable. As I told you earlier, fiber optics work in full duplex mode. That means you have two strands of fiber. 
for every cable. So a cable consists of two strands of fiber, one to carry data in either direction. So rather than taking this uh, straight through cable, what you need to do is you need to come out of this menu, go select the fiber optic cable, which is orange in color over here. You can see this is the orange colored one. Click here, click on the router, then connect the fast Ethernet 1 by 0 port and click on the switch. Once again, you see what are all the ports available here. You got a console port, you got a fast Ethernet 0 by 1 port, which shows which is an fiber optical fiber connection. So click on the optical fiber connection. The rest of the ones are your gigabit Ethernet ports. You can kind of, you can normally do it with a straight through cable. So click on the fast Ethernet. Once again, it shows an orange colored here. That means it is learning the connection. It is going to find out what uh, who is on the other side of the connection. And if you want to see a green immediately, just click on this fast forward time. It goes. If you if you connect it in the wrong manner, you see a red color. Orange color means it is going to find out. It takes a little bit of time, maybe 10 to 20 seconds to get booted up and to uh, establish the connection between the other device. So that's also done. Let me see. So, okay, now very good. We have completed 75% of this and step one is done. We have connected rotor one to the switch. Now let's go to step two. It is asking me to connect the cable modem to the wireless router. So this is the cable modem and this is the wireless router. It is asking choose the correct cable to connect the cable modem port one to wireless router internet port. So for me, once again, because I usually go with this, let me see. So the internet port is your fast Ethernet port. Click on the Ethernet port and click on the modem. There is only one port over here. You can simply connect this. See, it's done. A green light shows. Sir, you can ask me, sir, there is only one green light. Usually when you expand it, it doesn't allow me to move these things. But if you move it, you can see the two green lights over there. Okay. So this is also done. Let me check. So I came to completion of 87%. That's good. And I connect to the step three part. Connect the wireless router to the family PC. Now I want to connect this router with this PC. So it should be easy peasy. So click on this. You click on this. Select on the Ethernet port. Click on the family PC. Select on the family Ethernet port. That's it done. And simply fast forward it. I, you can see the two green lights over here. And let me see how much we completed the activity. There you go. We got the completion of 100%. We are done. But to verify whatever we did is working or not, you have to check whether you can ping each other device or not. If you see this, we connected through a serial interface. This, you connected an optical fiber. This part is done through coaxial cable. This is done through a console port. And here we have two wireless connections. Understand? So this is a mix and match of WLANs or wireless LANs and local area networks. So when you want to connect such things, you have to make sure that these connections work. So the best way to do this, uh, to verify whether this connect, the whether you have connected in the proper manner is or not, is to see if one device can talk to the other device. For that, it is asking step one, part four, where we verify connections. Test the connection from family PC to nettechad.pka. So when you once you click on family PC, it is asking open the family PC command prompt and ping nettechad.pka. For the nettechad.pka, if you go to your table, it is actually giving you all the internet IP addresses. The nettechad.pka's IP address is 10.0.0.254. So I go to the family PC, go to the desktop tab, go to the command prompt and ping 10.0.0.254 enter. So I'm trying to ping it here now. Let me see if it works or not. Just timed out. Come on. See, the ping works. The ping works. So I am able to connect. I am able to ping this server, netaka.pka, from family PC through all these connections. So it works fine. Now let me see what else it is asking me to do. Now. It is asking me to, where are we in the part four? In step two, it is also asking me to open the web browser and the web address HTTP colon slash slash .pk. Let me copy this, control C, go to the family PC again and just scroll towards the side. You have to be in the desktop tab. Please remember that you got to find out the desktop tab, go to the web browser part, click on the web browser, enter the URL and press enter. Excellent, it works. I got the web browser back here, so it's a success. So my ping works, my web browser is being opened. So all the protocols are working fine. Now let's go to step two, ping the switch. This is a switch, 
from home pc now i want to see if this home pc which is connected wirelessly to the switch or not once again how do i how do i ping it i have to find out what is the ip address for the switch go to the table please make sure that you get user with the table notation i'm going to maximize it here for uh, clarity purpose you can see here switch it is saying the interface f0 by 1 it is given the ip address is given as 172.16.0.2 so let me check it out let me minimize it again let me drag it here so from it is asking me from home pc right so from home pc i clicked on that go to the desktop tab and click on the command prompt and then let me try to see ping what is the address of the switch it's um, 172.16.172.16.0.2 enter let me see if this works well or not so what i am trying to do is i am trying to ping this this is a switch from this pc see the ping works i got a successful ping back okay so that verification is also done and let me see what else is remaining now it is asking open uh, router 0 from configuration terminal so this is where you click on the configuration terminal go to the desktop go to the terminal click okay and enter see you still you you can directly got the interface of routers this is what we have been doing simply click on the pc go to the go oh, give me a second so simply click on the pc that you connected to click on this you get this aim tab go to the terminal click okay and press enter you see the router zeros interface okay fine so now let me see what it is asking It is asking presenter to view. I saw I saw the router zero command prompt that has happened, and it is now asking me to show IP interface brief. But if you remember perfectly, you can't go directly do it here. Press enable to enter into the privileged mode, and then you can type in show IP interface brief. See, it's fine. It's working. It says all the Ethernet. If you can see that the fast Ethernet port is connected, there is our three IP addresses that are assigned to the serial Ethernet port is there. It's fine. it's working so i am able to connect through your console port also now the for the next part what we are going to do is it is actually asking me to go and examine the physical topology part this we haven't done earlier now the physical topology and the logical topology are placed here you can see now what i am going to do is i am going to click on the physical topology part so let me click on the physical topology part you see huge uh, diagrams over there so let me see It says examine the cloud. So click the physical workspace tab, or you can do through a shortcut. So this is what this is. I usually prefer this. You just simply click on the physical topology uh, tab on the top uh, left hand side, and it is ask me click on the home city button. So I have clicked on the home city icon. There you see a different things. You say you you find different icons coming into view there. It is asking click the cloud icon, and it is asking how many wires are connected to the switch in the blue rack. Where is the cloud? so here it is the cloud is over here so click on it and it opens it is asking the this is the blue rack and it is asking how many wires are connected there are only two wires so this is the one of the wire here let me show you this is one of the wire this is the other wire there are two wires the answer for this question is there are two wires that are connected to this switch in the blue rack there are these are the two ones now it is asking me click back to return to the home city if you see there is a small back button on the top here so simply click on the back button get back now the next part for this is just give me a second let me close this pc yes for the step 2 it is asking examine the primary network so in the primary network click the primary network icon hold the mouse pointer over the various cables what is located to the table to the right of the blue rack so let me click on the primary network so this is the rack okay and it is asking find out what is to that on the table to the right of the blue rack usually this is my right hand side so let me drag this ah yeah here you go you see a configuration terminal there is a configuration terminal that is placed to the right hand side of this blue rack this is the blue rack this is the blue rack you see dots of devices over there lots of connections are happening over there and what is to this is the primary network uh, thing and on the right hand side you see the configuration terminal so that is your answer for this 
fine and it says click back to return to the home city so let me click back again now it is asking me to verify the secondary network click the secondary network icon on various cables like where is the secondary network okay i clicked on it and it is asking why are there two orange cables connected to each device see there are two orange cables here i just told you uh, that for optical fibers it's a pair so always optical fibers work in pairs one fiber carries data from one side and the other uh, fiber carries it in the opposite direction so the reason why we have two orange pairs is simple it's because it's an optical fiber we have two pair we have a pair of wires connecting it that's a simple thing and step 4 it says uh, click back and examine the home network where is the home network left here yeah, it's here so click on the home network okay see there is there are no racks right earlier we have seen all the racks and stuff it is asking why is there no rack to hold the equipment simple you don't have racks in your home you have routers you have pcs you have devices but you don't find racks racks are actually placed at the isps or at the networking centers but not in your homes it's a simple answer you see there is a family pc there is a home pc all those devices are there if there is you see the cable modem that is connected over here you can see it's a home printer that you have just seen the physical topology part there is a cable cable modem all the devices are connected over here there are no racks present the racks are present in the only in the networks so it asks let me go back what is this anything more step four that's it it says thank you very much so this is go back to your logical topology so click on the logical topology tab over there you come back to the logical topology so guys that's it guys so please tinker with this play with this particular uh, activity make sure that you understand what's happening here you find out you identify the different types of connectors you identify the different types of devices that are there the different types of connections that you can see these are all the different connectors that are placed for you just check it out we have tried lot many number of things and if you have any doubt you can ping me in the comment section i will be able to help you just check out if you are the simple thing it's a, it's a straight forward if you do the right type of connection you get a red guy you get a green colored link light and if you do the wrong connection you get a red colored light so that's it from my side for this uh, video and we will be covering next uh, to connect the different devices through routers and stuff so thank you very much and have a nice day all of you bye